Hello guys, welcome to Clear Road Driving. Today's stand for discussion is traffic lights. Traffic lights are a crucial part of your driving that you must know how to react under different circumstances. It's evident that even a person who does not have a driving license training knows the obvious facts, which are one should go when the lights are green and stop when the lights are red. But when you are out on the road behind the wheel, you must know about traffic lights more than a person who does not have a driver's license training. Please bear with me until the end of this video and I will give you the information about traffic lights that you should know as a driver. You can also find my video on roundabouts through the link that just popped up on the top right corner. Please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not done it yet. Here, I have taken a picture of the traffic lights rules from the 2022 driving license book. Let's go through each of the lights that can show up. First, red lights. If the light is red, you must stop just before the stop line. If there is no stop line, stop right at the traffic lights. Almost always, you will have a solid white stop line. The exception that you will not have a stop line is if the light is a temporary traffic light. In which case, they just put the temporary traffic lights, but they will not go on with marking the road with the stop line. Second, red and amber light. This is a transition period before the light changes from red to green. When the light is red and amber, it means that the light was red previously and now it's soon going to change to green. So you need to get ready for moving. Third, green light. Green light is the obvious one, which means you can drive on. Fourth, solid amber light. Solid amber light is the transition period when the light changes from green to red. So if you see solid amber light, it means that the light was green previously and it is soon going to change to red. The instruction with the solid amber light is that when you see the solid amber light, stop if it is safe to stop. If you are close to the light and it is not safe to stop, then you should go on driving past the traffic light. Fifth, flashing or switched off light. In the sports cases, other traffic rules apply at the junction, like duty to give way, duty to stop, or priority to the right if there is no traffic signs on the intersection. Sixth, arrow or filter lights. Those are used to filter vehicles traveling in a specific direction. We will demonstrate all this, the above rules, using videos. Let's proceed to the videos now. In this video, there is a traffic light ahead of me and I need to stop right before the stop line. Important question here. Should I always stop just because there is a traffic light in front of me? Let's answer the question using this video. Ahead of me, there is a traffic light that already turned to red. And I'm planning to turn to the right. The lorry is going straight and it has stopped due to the traffic light. But since I'm turning right, I do not need to stop for this traffic light. The following are the two reasons for this. First, as you can see on the road, there is no solid white stop line on my lane. If I have to stop for this traffic light, the solid white stop line would have been there on my lane. Second, if the traffic light applies to me, I will have the traffic light on my right side as well. Here, there is no traffic light on my right side. Watch the giveaway marking on the road. Even though I don't need to stop for the traffic light, I need to give way to vehicles that are already on the road that I am driving to. In this video also, I am turning to the right. But unlike the previous video, in this case, I have a stop line on my lane. And I also have a traffic light on my right side. So I will have to stop right before the stop line and wait until the filter signal turns to green.
in this case i'm going straight and there is a traffic light on my left side that is showing red light should i stop for this traffic light the answer is no i do not need to stop for this traffic light as you can see i do not have the white solid stop line on my lane and i do not also have the traffic light on my right side so this traffic light applies only for those that uses the left lane to turn to the left direction in this video there is a traffic light ahead of me and i need to stop right before the stop line while waiting the light to turn green let us clarify some important points i stopped here because the traffic light i marked in purple circle has changed to red so what is the purpose of the traffic lights i marked in red circles those two lights are called repeat traffic lights those two lights repeat the intention of the main light at the stop line in this case the light i marked in purple their purpose is to add more impact and make sure that we notice the stop light so practically the repeat lights show whatever is displayed by the main light so after passing through the main light because it is green or solid amber if the repeat lights turn to red before you pass them while you are still in the intersection you should not stop for them one incident here watch the volvo car i marked in green it is stopping on a red light further down the road the car is on the same lane as i am so the traffic light that applies for the volvo is the filter signal that i marked in red circle this filter signal is for all vehicles that are turning to left the traffic light that i marked in purple is for vehicles that are going straight let's wait and see how the volvo driver behaves The traffic light changed to green for me and for those further down the road who are going straight. But the Volvo car has his filter signal still red, so he should not move at this moment. Oops, he went through the red filter light. Instead, he should have moved at this point. Is the information in this video useful? If so, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I see from the statistics that above 90% of the people who viewed the previous videos have not subscribed to the YouTube channel. Please subscribe now and assist the growth of this YouTube channel. Green light. The next videos demonstrate what to do when the light is green. Here, the light is green, so I can drive on past the traffic light. I'm going straight on this occasion. Thus, vehicles from the opposite lane who are intending to turn to their left has to give way to me. In this case, the white car I marked in green circle is indicating to turn left. So, it will have to wait until I pass through. In this case, I will turn to the right when this traffic light changes to green. Similar to going straight, when turning to the right, I have priority over the vehicles from the opposite lane who are intending to turn left. While waiting on the red light, let's clarify the traffic lights I marked in purple and blue circles. As I discussed in a previous video, the light marked in blue is a repeat light to the main light marked in purple. The silver car is moving because those two lights are green at the moment. But when my light changes to green, the lights marked in purple and blue will be red. So, right after making the right turn, I will see the repeat light marked in blue being red. But I should not stop for this light. It is basically a repeater to the main light marked in purple. And when it turns red, it is stopping vehicles that are using the direction that the silver car is using. One more point here. 
When my light turns green, the pedestrian I marked in purple circle will also have his pedestrian light being green. So I will have to give way to him after turning right. I will have to give way to him and watch also the repeater light being red, which I should not stop for. When the next light changes to green, I will turn to left after passing the traffic light. Since I am turning to left, I have to give way to all vehicles that are going straight or turning to the right. One important point here. Just because I am turning to the left does not mean that I should give way. In this video, I will turn to the left when the light changes to green. But please be aware that the traffic light in front of me is a filter signal with an arrow toward the left. When I have green light on the filter traffic light, all road users that are crossing my way will have their traffic light displaying red. So I do not have to give way to anybody. In this case, the light I marked in red circle will have red light to stop pedestrians. The light I marked in green circle will have red light to stop vehicles coming from the opposite lane. And the light I marked in purple will also have red light to stop vehicles coming from the right direction. Now it's the turn to demonstrate the solid amber light. The amber light is displayed intermittently when the light transitions from green to red. The solid amber light is telling you that the traffic light is going to change to red soon. Thus, if you are able to stop safely, stop before the solid white stop line. Here, the traffic light ahead of me is green and it changed to amber while I am heading towards it. In this case, I will have to stop. Since I have enough time for braking, I can stop at the traffic light safely without making a hard break. On the other hand, in this video, I have green light on the traffic light ahead of me and I am keeping an A carefully on the light so that I can react if it turns to amber in the middle. At this point, I have already decided that I am too close to the light for the speed that I am driving with. Thus, after this point, even if the traffic light turns amber, I will not stop. I will rather keep on driving and go through the traffic light. Yep, it changed to amber, but it is not safe to stop. So I drove through the amber light. This video demonstrates the red and amber light. The traffic light turns intermittently to red and amber when it transitions from red to green. So if you see the traffic light being red and amber, you can know that the light is soon changing to green. I am approaching the traffic light ahead of me which is red at the moment. At this point, I can remove my feet from the accelerator in the interest of avoiding to stop at the traffic light, if that is possible which is recommended for eco-driving. The light changed to red and amber, which will be replaced by green light soon. The light changed to green, but I still do not accelerate at this point so that I will have enough gap with the stationary car ahead, which requires some time to move from stationary position. This final video is to demonstrate how to act when the traffic light is flashing amber or it is totally turned off. I am approaching to a roundabout and you can see that inside the roundabout there is a traffic light which is red at the moment. I need to give way to the pedestrian from the left. While I stopped for the pedestrian, the traffic light changed to red and amber then it turned off totally. 
This type of traffic light turns on when a bus shows up on the bus lane that passes through the middle of the roundabout. After the bus passes through, the traffic light turns off. So when the traffic light turns off, we use roundabout rules to go through this junction. Caution, turn sticker required. When I start moving past the pedestrian crossing, the traffic light starts to flash the amber light. As per the rule, when the amber light flashes, other traffic rules apply. In this case, roundabout rules apply for this junction. But the light starts flashing amber because a bus is approaching the roundabout from the right. The traffic light will soon change to solid amber light, in which case I should stop before the stop line, because it is safe to stop in this condition. Once the bus passes through, the traffic light turns off again and I will have to use roundabout rules to go through this intersection. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find information that is useful in your driving license exam preparation and in your normal driving as well. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet.